good afternoon everyone we, i apologize in, uh, for this delay in starting the webinar unfortunately there were some hiccups with the link which had been created on zoom and it was not working somehow it has got rectified by now so once again my apologies for the delay and we are on for this very important webinar today on the issue of e-commerce through post we have with us director mr arulan nandan from ministry of commerce and industry the chief speaker for today dr pranay sharma he is deputy dg in the department of posts along with his colleagues mr ram sikaria who is additional dg in the department of posts and mr ravi deva the as participants you all are aware e-commerce was a burning issue especially during the covid times when travel was not possible so we had to resort to e-commerce unfortunately for our sector the diamond jewelry sector the e-commerce policy was not there we had series of meetings and followed up with uh, department of revenue and finally the honorable finance minister in her budget speech this year on 1st of february she announced that by 30th june the e-commerce policy for gems and jewelry would be announced and on 30th june itself the department of revenue came out with a notification allowing uh, and making special provisions a special uh, format for export of jewelry through e-commerce they did come out but that was for couriers and of couriers there are limited companies and they are all international companies their charges are very high in e-commerce the export is basically b to c and generally one or two item or small pieces and of lesser value so the cost of sending the goods of lesser value cannot be very high otherwise customers will not accept that so we had been following up with the department of post we are very lucky to have an officer like dr pranay sharma who is a 1998 batch indian postal services he took keen interest he attended various meetings and in fact visited jaipur to have a first hand experience also of the e-commerce parcels and with his efforts along with his team mr ram tikari and others and our follow up from the council as well as the commerce ministry writing several letters to the department of revenue now on the 9th of december revenue has issued two notifications which allow e commerce through export so that is a great achievement and it will be a game changer for our sector at least where the uh, volume is very low where the piece weight is generally very low maybe a few hundred grams that's all but the value is quite high and the demand especially in the us and other countries is also very good so this new notification which has come out allowing e-commerce through post will be a great boost for our industry so we feel and we have with us in the webinar none other than dr pranay sharma himself and dr ram sikaria who would be explaining to all the participants here the benefits of this new notification and the various procedures involved in sending goods by uh, e-commerce through export before i finally invite dr pranay sharma to take words i would request our director mr arulan nandan who has taken keen interest in this e-commerce right from day one when he joined the commerce ministry he had been pushing us to follow up with the department concerned to see that these notifications come So it's a great achievement, sir, and your efforts are laudable. So I request you to say a few words before we start. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Kewal Dogal. Uh, first of all, I would uh, thank the JJPC for putting me as a panelist in this uh, gathering. Uh, respected uh, Pranay Sharma, sir, uh, Deputy Director General, and his colleague, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Ram Sikaria, and other senior officials from Post who would have joined in the seminar. and dear exporters uh, this uh, seminar would uh, 
bring uh, is bringing all of us together to understand what has been notified and uh, how we can take forward the momentum at the background to this as mr dogal was mentioning that uh, in uh, way back in 2018 the export uh, cargo clearance scale system was introduced in 2008 that is a uh, courier import and export clearance guidelines then the incremental change was made in 2010 december uh, that is electronic declaration that was uh, an incremental change that was on the one side on the other hand we have in 2018 the postal department the foreign post office are able to handle the export business that was 2018 and uh, i understand about 28 post office are in the business at present and in 2022 uh, making it a more uh, business friendly and ease of doing business this automatic uh, uh, system to file this forms which were otherwise physical all this year have come into being as i has mentioned this 2022 june uh, the courier uh, policy which was sop which was issued by ministry of finance has also taken on board the german jewelry industry as we all know that german jewelry industry uh, at present the what is allowed is 20 kg uh, by post as per foreign uh, uh, ftp policy uh, in vogue now about 20 kg is allowed then interesting fact uh, in this is like um, how much e commerce what is the what is the potential e commerce india is facing how much we are doing how much internationally the business is being done so with respect to india we have about uh, exports about 420 billion and uh, the e commerce uh, as a country we are like more than 50 billion that that uh, shows about 12% of business is already conducted in e commerce uh, and uh, interestingly in the international scenario the current uh, like 2021 uh, the global export is about 28.5 trillion okay out of 28.5 trillion about 500 billion means half a trillion is conducted through e-commerce which is only 2 percentage of the global uh, export business so where as a country we have strength in it and it enable services and we are already at, uh, looking at a 10 to 12 percentage and with a growth rate of uh, some some um, um, studies indicate 17 percent some studies indicate about 25 percent growth rate in this this small steps will make country uh, to look more export uh, um, competitive in the world so that that is a very good step so then why why this how this e-commerce will benefit the uh, german jewelry because uh, as we all know that uh, government has announced a district as export hub and one product one district at present reach the a small exporter in, in a small town reaching out a foreign post office uh, maybe he has to travel a distance and uh, now he is able to present his parcel in a very local post office and sitting at his home he is able to log into the system and file this format the form 1 and form 2 these are going to herald an important step uh, in in easing of business and now coming to why why how it will benefit india and especially the german jewelry the german jewelry the predominantly is characterized by ms uh, smes small and marginal exporters uh, small and medium exporters and uh, they are uh, the skill set is spread across india we we go to east we go to south we go to west everywhere the skill set are different and uh, finding uh, and uh, an enabling environment will definitely help the small exporters from this country an sme exporter sitting in a small town and that to utilizing a large network of century old network of post office is a, uh, not a small step it is a definitely a significant step so with this uh, uh, words i would um, uh, thank the organizers and uh, my best wishes now coming to opportunities and challenges what are the challenges involved in the next step as we all know this e commerce and e filing electronic uh, data processing and international cross border data flow they have certain challenges uh, uh, if you see as per se wto uh, has uh, not factored into at the time of its formation 
and in WTO plus, then we have a mechanism to look into personal data protection and the localization of data and how uh, we can um, uh, uh, seamlessly transfer data between uh, countries is are the challenges which the government is looking at and will be uh, doing uh, as a course of its journey through regional FTAs by invoking these classes in the existing FTAs. These are the challenges and it will be addressed. So, and uh, with respect to opportunities, India is poised to uh, um, uh, look in, is looking into a, a better uh, uh, opportunities in the sector, especially German jewelry sector. So with these words, uh, I thank the organizers once again and welcome the officials from uh, Postal Department once again. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your very useful information and setting the tone for this webinar. Now I would request Dr. Pranay Sharma to start in with these few words. Uh, thank you, Dugal sir. I think uh, my voice is audible to you and all. Yeah, we can hear, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, uh, uh, based on uh, the profile of the panelists, uh, what would be your suggestion to speak in Hindi or English or? Uh, mix would do, sir. You can start with English and, you know. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Rolanandan, Director, Ministry of Commerce, and my colleagues from Department of Post. It's a very innovative and uh, good initiative by Gems and Jewelry Export Promotion Council. Let me congratulate you uh, for organizing this webinar and uh, reaching out to our stakeholders across uh, to let them know how the government uh, is trying to ease their export processing and procedures. And uh, before going ahead, uh, let me also congratulate uh, the Department of Revenue, CBIC, Ministry of Commerce, DGFT and all actually, uh, we are the stakeholders in this process and this uh, and we are going forward. So uh, uh, this is a joint uh, initiative and we have also taken uh, different export promotion councils uh, and other exporters which are uh, individually coming their input, inputs and feedback uh, while developing uh, the electronic postal bill of exports. So uh, all uh, participants and stakeholders who have contributed, I put on record uh, my sincere congratulations and thanks to all of them. First. And now, uh, as pointed out very rightly by Director uh, Ministry of Commerce about uh, the 420 billion merchandise exports so far in 2022, and out of that, uh, around 20% in e-commerce. I think uh, the growth rate uh, after COVID, which is uh, fueled by different reasons, uh, maybe the changed uh, behavior of the consumers for shopping online or internet penetration across the country, we all know. And as well as uh, which are uh, other important factors that is India has been doing wonderfully is the FinTech, that is a secure payment mechanisms. So they have, been contributing and they will contribute in coming at least uh, in a decade in a big way, not only in double digit, but it, double digit means 20% or more group that we foresee and the information is from different sources is almost similar. So uh, going to that and then we come to different sectors uh, contributing in the uh, in the exports. One of the major sector is the your sector, which is the gems and jewelry, which is a leading sector. Uh, so, uh, we uh, feel that the government's initiative will definitely benefit to this sector as well. Whatever steps have already been taken and uh, the more steps going to be taken time to time based on the requirements uh, in, in, in the coming time. So, and I, your uh, Dugal sahab on a lighter note, um, and Dr. Nahi hu, but aapne bola to, it inspires me to do some PhD or something to get a doctorship. <laughs> so, uh, but you are sir uh, MPhil in international relations, so I thought you are as good as the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. 
So uh, uh, let me share now a video that uh, in 2018, when the first time the export by post regulation was brought before that, uh, post uh, was used for exports, but not technically for the regions of export and uh, under uh, uh, taking for different uh, regulations for uh, drawback benefits or other incentives, it was not technically considered as an export channel. Uh, though a number of exports, uh, 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 I mean, shipments have been going. So uh, 2018, first time made it technically uh, a channel for exports based on the paper-based or we can say manual filing of the postal bill of exports, where it 28 foreign post offices were notified out of them. Uh, most of the post, uh, foreign post offices were operationalized, some are in process. Uh, but then there had been a demand as well for that uh, in country like India, 28 is not a huge number. Number one, that is from the point of view of access and reach. Second, uh, not only that, then paper-based has its limitations because uh, the proof of export can only be given when uh, the consignments and shipments are handed over to airline. And physically, we have to receive that uh, receive that back, and then it comes to foreign post office. Then it has to be collected by the exporter. He has to come again. So a lot of uh, uh, issues and complexities and uh, delays in that also. So uh, that is another aspect. And then third is the data protection and the sanctity of data and faster clearance. So there are a number of uh, uh, heads uh, which. Uh, but there, which can be, I mean, uh, served after notification of this uh, regulation, which is called uh, now export, uh, reg electronic uh, regulation, uh, uh, sorry, electronic declaration and processing regulation 2022. So uh, for automated PB. And then uh, the objective, as I mentioned, that uh, not only this, but to leverage the post office network. Now, uh, here also, I would like to mention that uh, Going forward, we are coming with the scheme uh, wherein at least uh, the each district may have a post office which is designated uh, as an export center and to align with the district as export hub scheme as well as the ODOP and uh, also to also to complement the GI tag uh, products across the country. So uh, this this is the initiative of the of the government at large uh, where. There is complementarities between uh, different departments and ministries uh, which serve the technology aspect, the taxation aspect, the process aging, the logistics aspects put together. So let us see in that way. And uh, going forward, uh, this uh, initiative which we were waiting, uh, which I think a little bit delayed due to COVID period, now uh, it, it is on, uh, on board. And uh, shortly now, we have to, uh, according to that, uh, identify the post pieces, which is, will not be, a, we are already in the, our list. And in the phased manner, we will increase the number of post offices where these can be done. Because also, we have to uh, make these post offices ready. Not only is the filing, but also the, 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 the staff uh, uh, in, in identified post offices who is well trained. And also, where there there is some packaging solution also available for uh, uh, for the exporter, uh, and then also if there are there are volumes, we can directly connect it uh, to the foreign post office rather than uh, routing it through the parcel hub or the uh, speed post hub, uh, which we in in normal course it follow. So uh, and uh, also to associate with the different local chapters of uh, export promotion bodies. Uh, PO and state government and all where we can educate uh, the experts. So it is it, it is across four different uh, sectors uh, of the products and all. So uh, let me uh, come to the now this uh, notification when how it can uh, help the exporters. So uh, from different perspectives, uh, if I say that now uh, as mentioned by Director Commerce that exporter need not go physically uh, to the foreign post office and so there are three uh, main uh, uh, main uh, login ids or the uh, three main web pages of a uh, portal one for the exporter one for the postal authorities and another for the customs so uh, where, where they can access this portal uh, and uh, while developing this 
uh, whatever requirements we could uh, accom uh, we could obtain have been accommodated and we are still receiving uh, further requirements which we will in regular upgrade uh, of the software we will take care of those things so uh, in the the first thing is the registration where any exporter by filling the kyc and his mandatory information iec code gist number and other area fields can register one time on the portal and uh, then uh, uh, wherever he wants to ship or uh, fulfill his orders he can generate uh, uh, the pbe one or in bulk upload so that information can be filled and then that uh, uh, particular shipment can be brought to the post office the shipments can be picked also where there are volumes so that is a separate aspect uh, so both the things are possible that uh, post office can also pick up from the exporter's premise uh, and also there is uh, uh, it can be dropped at the post office so um, when they upload uh, after uh, uh, the data uh, it enables the exporter to print the label along with the barcode uh, of a postal id as well as the pv number so uh, in post office uh, they just produce the physical aspects uh, physical shipments when it is scanned all the data uploaded automatically fetched by the post of the post office and uh, only the destination country and uh, uh, weight and the few other things are verified and then uh, the information travels to uh, uh, through the system and when the physical item reaches at the foreign post office and is scanned that time customs can access the information by login into the customs portal so physical item is available all the information furnished by the exporter online uh, can be accessed and there are different access given to different postal uh, authorities uh, sorry customs authorities in the foreign post office for assessment examination uh and uh, evaluation of duties if any export generally not much of duties but if there is any so uh, and any query that can be raised online now this is the main benefit of uh, this portal uh, that customs queries or wanting documents can be asked online and it is received by the exporter on his web page of portal and uh, there there will be a bell icon under which he can see that there is a query for particular pbe so he can respond to the query and upload the document if required any certificate or invoice whatever and submit it online wherever he is sitting in the remote area or uh, any anywhere in the country uh, the customs authority on receipt of the same reply and the documents can further uh, see that and clear the uh, articles and when this is a uh, clear it is dispatched by the foreign post office uh, for export and at that time the postal bill of export uh, is generated and it can be downloaded and printed by the exporter at his place uh, so i mean this uh, this process so far for the few months has been uh, under live pilot test and uh, has been very smooth uh, so going forward uh, we, we we i think so that it will be very useful and all the data of the next step will be the uh, automatic integrate integration between the postal server data and the custom server data on which we are working so uh, based on that uh, it is i think uh, uh, a number of uh, regular exporters consignments will not take much of the time in clearance uh, because as the, as the ice gate works uh, it is, once it is reached and majority of the articles are cleared based on the intelligence of the exports so physical items have to reach there so this way uh, this 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 is going to facilitate exporters uh, in different parts of the country secondly also that uh, uh, we have been working on and uh, i think this is going beyond this is that if we can have a postal presence of uh, in in the cjs so it's still uh, the cj act is uh, in the process and uh, uh, we we are thinking that if uh, cj uh, and post office connectivity establishes and it it is put in harmony then it uh, the role will uh, further increase uh, to export to post offices uh, in addition uh, i would also like to share that to uh, for the low cost uh, as you rightly mentioned uh, dugal sir 
uh, low cost items and semi precious and uh, imitation jewelry exports uh, there is a need to have be to be competitive enough uh, to to compete with the uh, other countries uh, uh, which are there in this area so we we have been continuously in touch with when we uh, with the, the major export destinations and this year as you know uh, that we introduced this uh, uh, tracked packet uh, product with the usa which was earlier at, uh, only for few countries in the asia pacific and we are in talks with other major countries also uh, where we can extend this product and uh, this is uh, not a step by step tracking at present but that meets the requirement at least that two three scans are there or, or total four scans at uh, different stages are provided to the exporter including the delivery scan so uh, uh, it, it the, the the performance has been almost uh, 98 99% in case of usa and uh, there is a phenomenal growth there uh, new uh, new exporters leaving other um, uh, partners have joined back posts in different parts of country after launch of uh, uh, this product to uh, to us so we we, we are considering and uh, also trying to uh, at least uh, uh, not to increase the rates uh, in in consultation with the postal administrations of usa or the major european countries and all so uh, uh, needless to say uh, that uh, quality is also very uh, timely delivery also important so there are two different segments that in packets we we have a relaxed delivery standards but uh, when going forward in ems and premium product where is high value exports are there uh, we uh, we have to bring uh, uh, higher uh, we have to a little bit higher cost there because we have to pay the postal administration destination so at least but we have two different uh, segments there one is the premium one and uh, that that may be high value but uh, but low uh, volume uh, but what you are saying in especially uh, for low cost products uh, where three dollar four dollar five dollar products are exported uh, there we would continue to try and keep the costs as competitive as possible for us india post definitely uh, is behind promoting exports uh, not earning uh, out of it <laughs> per se but we have to factor in the cost that is for uh, for sure whatever we have to incur on the connectivity uh, airlines and all from india to abroad and what we have to pay to the partner postal administration in different countries over uh, 200 plus destination postal administrations with which uh, uh, india post uh, interacts and exchange uh, uh, shipments so we have to pay, pay each other to what they charge for the local delivery so putting these things uh, i think uh, i can only assure that india post will always be trying uh, as a government uh, to keep uh, the things uh, the, the price is competitive so that is from my side uh, dogal sahab i think uh, if there is uh, any questions or uh, any further my colleagues are also there if some details are required they can share with you and uh, going forward i will lastly only say that uh this will be a joint and aware of all the ministries and departments who are stakeholders in this area uh, for export promotion and uh, we, we we keep working together uh to, to to promote exports from india and realize our dream to make india as an exporter thank you thank you sir for your very useful words giving details of the benefits of this notification i would request all participants to put in their questions in the question box so that we can take them one by one but in the meanwhile sir i think every participant would like to know the main thing in e-commerce is speed and cost how soon the parcel can be delivered to the customer and what will be the cost for it as i said me in my opening remarks the courier companies being private international companies are very expensive so i understand department of post has entered into some agreement where to some select countries you know something like 500 gram of parcel can be sent for 5 600 rupees so if you can throw some light on that that will be of great use to our participants sir या दुगल साहब ऐसा है कि 
प्रोडक्ट्स इसमें दैट इज द स्लैब इज मिनिमम हंड्रेड ग्राम्स जो पैकेट प्रोडक्ट एंड उसके बाद जैसे जैसे वेट बढ़ता है तो हंड्रेड ग्राम्स का स्लैब उसमें बेस पे उसका प्राइसिंग है तो यहाँ जो है ओनली हम यहाँ से बुकिंग के बाद एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं उसका स्कैनिंग मिलेगा जब मान लीजिए यूएसए को हमने इसमें ऐड किया तो हम अभी ऑलमोस्ट अराउंड पर मंथ नाइन्टी थाउजेंड के आसपास शिपमेंट्स पहुंचे हैं जो पहले ऑलमोस्ट इस, इस तरह के नहीं था और इसकी जो ग्रोथ है वो कुछ महीने में ही काफी बढ़ गई है तो वहां पहुंचने के बाद उसका एक स्कैन होता है और उसके बाद डिलीवरी के बाद एक स्कैन कस्टमर को मिलता है तो उससे यह है कि उसको जो एक तरह से जो बहुत सारे दूसरे कुरियर के थ्रू या जहां पे ज्यादा पैसा देना पड़ रहा है तो वहां उसकी बजाय यहां आपका मान लीजिए पांच सौ रुपया या ऐसा जो कॉस्ट है उसके आसपास में वो और उसके बाद इंक्रीमेंटल कॉस्ट कम है तो 200 ग्राम 300 ग्राम 400 ग्राम तो एक फ्लैट रेट जो एक पर आइटम होता है जो हमको उनको देना है तो वो उसकी वजह से एक बेसिक कॉस्ट है और उसके बाद हंड्रेड ग्राम के ऊपर तो डिटेल्स वो हमारी वेबसाइट पे भी अवेलेबल है तो जिसको भी अगर देखना है कि कितना स्लैब है वगैरह और सजेशन भी वो दे सकते हैं हमको तो उसको उसके हिसाब से हम आगे जो है कंसीडर कर सकते हैं कैसे प्राइसिंग को कॉम्पिटिटिव और रखें वेरी करेक्ट सर सर इन जेम एंड ज्वेलरी हमारे जो आइटम है सर आज के रेट पे दस ग्राम सोना करीब पचास पचपन हजार का है तो जनरली जो एक आइटम जाएगी बी टू सी इन ई कॉमर्स वो अराउंड अबाउट इतनी ही वैल्यू की होगी और अगर पचास साठ हजार की चीज है और उसका वजन सिर्फ दस ग्राम है और पैकिंग मिला के भी उसका वजन सौ ग्राम से कम होगा तो आई थिंक जैसे आपने कहा कि वो पांच सौ रुपए में यूएस पहुंच सकती है तो देट विल बी यू नो ग्रेट बेनिफिटर फॉर अवर ट्रेड क्योंकि इतने सस्ते में कोई भी कोरियर कंपनी वाला नहीं ले जाएगा अगर आपके यहाँ ट्रैकिंग भी है तो एक सोने पे सुहागा है कि हमारा पार्सल हमने पोस्ट ऑफिस में दिया और हम वी आर सिटिंग एट होम एबल टू ट्रैक कि वो कहाँ उसकी मूवमेंट हो रही है और कब डिलीवर हो रहा है हमारे कस्टमर को अगर ये फैसिलिटी है तो सर ये बहुत ही अच्छा और बहुत यूजफुल रहेगी और वैसे अभी नॉर्मली यूएस जो हमारी मेन मार्केट है कॉमर्स की और ज्वेलरी सर कितने दिन में डिलीवर हो जाएगा इन डिफरेंट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द यूएस Uh, मैं मेरे सहयोगी यहाँ हैं राम सिकारिया इस बारे में वो देख भी रहे हैं हो जाएगा कि ही नहीं आई थिंक पिछले कुछ महीनों में हमने जो लाइव भेजते रहे हैं उसके बेसिस पे शायद आपको बेहतर जवाब देंगे यस सर सो थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर इनवाइटिंग अस ओवर हियर तो आपका जो क्वेरी है दुगल सर उसमें अभी पिछले तीन चार महीने में हमने जो डेटा देखा है उसके हिसाब से जो ये आई का प्रोडक्ट है इट इज टेकिंग ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स टू एट डेज तो यस विच इज प्रिटी गुड आई बिलीव हम इसको और इम्प्रूव करने के लिए वी आर इन कॉन्स्टेंट टच विदीम इनफैक्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू इन्वाइट दम ओवर इंडिया फॉर फॉर अ मीटिंग तो सिक्स टू एट डेज विद दिस प्राइस लैब आई थिंक इट्स दी फाइनेस्ट एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव राइट नाउ बट वी हैव स्टिल नॉट स्टॉप हियर ये हम अभी भी कोशिश कर रहे हैं टू फर्दर इम्प्रूव इट एंड फर्दर सी वॉट मोर कॉस्ट कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस कैन बिल्ड ये भी कुछ है ऐसा कि नहीं डिस्काउंट है अगर आपका वॉल्यूम पोस्टेज एक लाख रूपए के ऊपर है महीने का तो उसमें कस्टमर को टेन परसेंट का डिस्काउंट भी है वेरी गुड सर एक चीज और है क्योंकि ये वैल्यूएबल कार्गो है तो इसका इंश्योरेंस क्या पोस्टल इंश्योरेंस ही रहेगा कि जो एक्सपोर्टर है उसके पास एक बल्क पॉलिसी रहती है अपने एक्सपोर्ट के इंश्योरेंस की कि वो उसमें कर सकता है देखिए जो ट्रेंड है फिलहाल वो ये है कि पोस्टल इंश्योरेंस तो मैंडेटरी होता ही है बट जनरली मुंबई के कई सारे एक्सपोर्टर्स हैं जो बल्क इंश्योरेंस में भी इसको कवर करते हैं अब हम लोगों ने पोस्टल इंश्योरेंस का रेट भी बहुत कम हो गया है तो इट्स इट्स ऑलमोस्ट कॉम्पिटेटिव टू मार्केट सो देर इज नो हार्म दे कैन हैव देयर ब्लॉक इंश्योरेंस विच इज और जब भी अगर कोई लॉस्ट केस होता है तो हम लॉस सर्टिफिकेट देते हैं दे कैन क्लेम फ्रॉम देयर बट पोस्टल इंश्योरेंस रियल ज्वेलरी के लिए मैंडेटरी है अगर आर्टिफिशियल ज्वेलरी है और इमिटेशन ज्वेलरी है तो उसके लिए 
तो उसमें तो इतना नहीं है बट रियल ज्वेलरी में क्योंकि वैल्यू थोड़ी ज्यादा रहती है उसके लिए इसका इंश्योरेंस होना तो बहुत जरूरी है तो फिलहाल तो ये मैंडेटरी है बट ये अभी आर ट्राइंग कि हम कैसे उसको कम्प्लीटली पूरी तरीके से वेव ऑफ टाइप कर पाए रूल्स में इसमें सर क्योंकि तो हमारे आइटम्स में एक और पिकुलरिटी uh, है कि देर इज कस्टम्स अप्रेजल तो आपके कौन से पोस्ट ऑफिस रहेंगे जहां पर आपका कस्टम्स का अप्रेजल भी रहेगा कैसे आप पार्सल लेने के बाद उस कस्ट में पहले भेजेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक पार्टिसिपेंट की क्वेरी है अहमदाबाद में वो डायमंड या स्टोन स्टडी ज्वेलरी कैसे बेच सकते हैं देखिए जहाँ तक अप्रेजर का है हम लोगों ने कस्टम्स के साथ भी टेकअप किया है एंड कस्टम्स के पास भी अप्रेजर्स की बहुत कमी है तो एक्चुअली अलग अलग कमिश्नर जोन जो है कस्टम्स का दे आर फॉलोइंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स तो जहाँ तक मुझे ध्यान है मुंबई फॉलोज उनके शायद कुछ ऑथोराइज वैल्यूअर्स होते हैं जहाँ से आप वैल्यूएशन करा के उसको एक्सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं गुजरात में आई थिंक दे आर स्टिल ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट दी अप्रेजर दिल्ली में अप्रेजर आपका आता है हफ्ते में दो या तीन दिन तो अलग अलग कमिश्नरेट अलग अलग सिस्टम फॉलो कर रहा है सो so, हमको लोकल लेवल पे एक्चुअली उनके साथ लाइजिंग करके देखना पड़ेगा कि कहाँ पे क्या वॉल्यूम आ रहा है एंड हाउ वी कैन स्मूथ इन दिस प्रोसेस जैसे दिल्ली में तो एफ पी ओ में ऑलरेडी जब लास्ट हम लोगों का बात हुआ था तो आप लोग भी शायद कुछ ट्राई कर रहे थे कि एक वैल्यू लिमिट तक ऑथोराइज्ड वैल्यूअर से शायद सर्टिफिकेट एक्सेप्ट कर लिया जाए आई थिंक यू आर ऑलरेडी इन टच विद द कस्टम्स फॉर दिस सो इफ एनी नॉर्म्स कम आउट ऑन इन दिस रिगार्ड इट विल बी एप्लीकेबल फॉर थ्रू पोस्टल थ्रू कोरियर एवरी एवरी मोड ऑफ चैनल ये हमारे जो ई कॉमर्स बाय कोरियर का सर्कुलर निकाला कस्टम्स ने रेवेन्यू डिपार्टमेंट में उसमें तो उन्होंने इंस्टेड ऑफ 100% एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ गुड्स वो लिख दिया कि एक्सरे की स्क्रीनिंग में आरएमएस के बेसिस पे दे विल ओनली चेक अ फ्यू पीसेस ओनली नॉट एवरी पीस या सो सेम वी आर गोइंग टू में भी शायद वही होना चाहिए यस यस हमारा आरएमएस के साथ अभी नेक्स्ट वीक मीटिंग है आरएमएस एंड डीजी सिस्टम से सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट वेरी सून सो आई थिंक इन कपल ऑफ मंथ्स हमारा एक बार इंटीग्रेट हो गया सो आरएमएस के बेसिस पे मैक्सिमम कंसाइनमेंट्स तो क्लियर हो जाएंगे और जो बचेंगे वो फिर असेसमेंट और उसमें जाएंगे दैट टू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आरएमएस इटसेल्फ अच्छा और इसमें सर एक क्वेरी है लोगों की कि जैसे हमारे ई कॉमर्स की जो जमीन ज्वेलरी की पॉलिसी रेवेन्यू डिपार्टमेंट ने निकाली है उसमें अभी ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज तक की आइटम री इम्पोर्ट कर सकते हैं यानी अगर कोई रिजेक्ट होता है या कस्टमर देने को मना करता है तो अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज की आइटम विद इन थर्टी डेज ऑफ इट्स एक्सपोर्ट Can be returned to India. तो आपका return का कैसे arrangement रहेगा? Suppose कोई customer जिसको हमने post के through भेजा है, and he refuses to take delivery, or he takes delivery and after one day he says he is not satisfied and he wants to return. So will your counterpart in the foreign country be arranging their return also to India? Ah uh, no. So what are the rates for that? If, no sir, if they have taken delivery, then Uh, there, there is no provision of returning, but if they have refused, then by default it will be returned to the uh, sender. Hey, वो तो है सर पर अभी e-commerce में एक बहुत important aspect रहता है कि customer is free to see the good. He has not seen. He has only seen the photo and ordered. तो वो देखता है और जब वो देख के उसको मान लो पसंद नहीं है, तो एक there is a provision कि he can return. और revenue department ने return इसीलिए हमारे सेक्टर में अलाउ भी किया है टू बिगिन विद दे फिक्स्ड लिमिट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज की वैल्यू तक का ई कॉमर्स का एक्सपोर्ट कैन बी रिटर्न एंड ऑन रिटर्न इट विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्सामिन प्रोसीजर फॉर दैट बट इट कैन बी रिटर्न कोरियर वालों ने तो अपने ही कोरियर से टाइप किया कि वो कस्टमर जो है उसी कोरियर को फोन करके कहेगा कि इसको वापस ले जाइए और वो वापस ले आएगा पोस्ट वालों को भी सर ऐसा कुछ करना पड़ेगा राइट सो अगर ये यूएसपीएस की टीम आती है तो वी कैन एक्चुअली एक्चुअली डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट एंड सी कि हम इसको कैसे फैसिलिटेट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ई कॉमर्स में रिटर्न का एक बहुत हालांकि होता नॉट मोर देन टेन परसेंट ही है बट रिटर्न का एक एस्पेक्ट है राइट राइट ये है हमारे एजेंडा में सो अभी तो नहीं है बट लेट सी हम इसको कैसे कोई सोल्यूशन इसमें कुछ ना कुछ तो निकाल के देंगे आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग विद द काउंटर पार्ट
ठीक ठीक सर और सर जैसे आपने कहा कि एसी जेड के लिए भी पार्सल जैसे अभी जो ये होते हैं क्या बोलते हैं कस्टोडियंस वो कार्गो ले जाते हैं फ्रॉम एसी जेड टू दी एयरपोर्ट ऐसे ही जो पोस्ट की वैन है वो ऑथराइज वैन है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट की दे कैन गो एंड पिक पार्सल्स फ्रॉम देयर तो जैसे यू नो यू कैन डिस्कस विद दी डीसीज ऑफ एसी जेड एंड स्टार्ट एज एन अ पायलट बेसिस दिस थिंग सो दैट एसी जेड से एक्सपोर्ट बहुत जल्दी हो सकता है क्योंकि वहां पर जो फॉरेन के टेस्ट की ज्वेलरी है सब नहीं बनती है राइट आई मीन हम लोगों ने ऑलरेडी एक मीटिंग किया भी था नोएडा कमिश्नर 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 के साथ आप भी थे उसमें सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट इनफैक्ट अभी डायरेक्टर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स सर भी यहाँ है सो आई रिक्वेस्ट हिम कि वो भी इस मोड को देखें कि ये कैसे ये अलाउ हो सकता है सर अभी क्योंकि बहुत सारे हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री से ज्वाइन है तो देर इज अट्सिपेंट फ्रॉम कोयम्बोटोर ही वॉन्ट्स टू नो वेदर कोयम्बोटोर के में पोस्ट ऑफिस रीजनल जिनको हम अपने रीजनल ऑफिस जो बॉम्बे कलकत्ता चेन्नई जयपुर सूरत ऐसे हैं वहां से दे कैन यू नो लाइजा विद दो रीजनल ऑफिस ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट एंड दे कैन इफ इन केस ऑफ एनी क्वेरी और इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट दे कैन अप्रोच देम एंड गेट देयर वर्क डन है Yeah, in next week I am uh, writing a complete uh, details to you, so उसमें मैं ये include कर दूँगा. Very good, sir. And इसमें हाँ, it is a query about imitation and artificial jewellery. So I think that I can. E-commerce is for all items, even imitation and artificial jewellery. वो तो कर ऐसे चीज़ पहले भी जा रही थी, but अभी भी जा सकती है post के तौर पे. ऐसा imitation and artificial jewellery भी तो जा सकती है ना? Yes, yes, बिल्कुल. Uh, is there any yes? Is there any link in your uh, or a website में आपके जहाँ पर कोई exporter जिन्होंने आज जो join नहीं कर रहे हैं and they want to understand or they want to know more details about this procedures and policy of uh, sending goods through post where he can you know log in and get more information? या कुछ एफ्यूज आपने ऐसे बनाए हैं सर जिससे कि लोगों को ईज हो जाए कि उनकी क्वेरी रिजॉल्व हो जाए क्योंकि ये फर्स्ट टाइम ऐसा हो रहा है तो कुछ एफ एफ्यूज नहीं बनाए तो बना दीजिए इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर कंप्लीट डिटेल बाय डिटेल स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस हम आपको मंडे या ट्यूजडे को भेज देंगे सो दैट यू कैन सर्कुलेट सो इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर एवरीवन टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रजिस्टर हाउ टू बुक एन आर्टिकल एवरीथिंग यस दैट विल बी ऑफ ग्रेट हेल्प सर and uh, there is no quantity limit because of, uh, as director already said the limit is of 20 kg as set by the foreign trade policy of india no 20 kg uh, by post export by post e commerce mein to abhi limit 5 lakh ki hai but otherwise jo normal export hai by post that is 20 kg as per foreign trade policy ये लिमिट मुझे एक बार देखना पड़ेगा बट एज सच क्योंकि ईएमएस जो है वो थर्टी थर्टी के जी तक होता है सो आई फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी में ट्वेंटी के जी लिखा हुआ है ओके ओके फॉर योर आइटम तो राइट सो एज सच तो कोई लिमिट एज है नहीं वैसे 
but for artificial jewelry we have a limit of 1 lakh rupees right now as per our rules uh, for, for 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 real jewelry i see ठीक है सर अह क्वेश्चन क्या है देयर इज अ क्वेरी फ्रॉम सम पार्टिसिपेंट इन चेन्नई दैट 2 मंथ्स बैक दे हैड सेंट सम 12 पार्सल्स बट इट हैज नॉट रीच्ड टू द कस्टमर आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट देम टू टॉक टू द चेन्नई पोस्ट ऑफिस डायरेक्टली मेरा ई मेल आई डी उनके साथ शेयर कर दीजिएगा वो मुझे अलग से मेल कर देंगे मैं देख लेता हूँ complete or sir people want to know the complete uh, processes and the rates ye koi kya slabs rahenge to yeah, we'll share we'll share it we'll share it with you next week na by monday tuesday complete process and rates of it sab kuch share kar denge aap aapka sara jewelry ja sakta hai somebody is asking whether you can use stones also yes Ah, you can send. If somebody is asking whether some ten grams or five gram parcel can be sent to the US, of course, there is no minimum. Ah, uh, Dugal Sir, just a little bit. I will interfere with you. Here, in between, these things are not changed. There is no change. 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 There is no कि जो मैनुअल प्रोसीजर्स फॉर फाइलिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पोस्टल बिल ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ विजिट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट प्लेसेस टू द लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ फॉरेन पोस्ट ऑफिस एंड देन फॉर अगेन फॉर द इश्यूज एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज एंड डिलेज इन ऑब्टेनिंग द फिजिकल फॉर्म ऑफ पोस्टल बिल ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स जो कई बार नहीं भी मिल पाता अगर नहीं गए तो Mm-hmm. और तो इसकी वजह से जो इश्यूज थे एंड नाउ आफ्टर एंड लेट मी आल्सो मेंशन दैट दैट विल बी आई थिंक करेक्ट टू से वी हैव टू फॉर्मली लॉन्च इट यट ओके सो लाइव टेस्टिंग मींस वी हैव बीन एक्चुअली बुकिंग दीज आर्टिकल्स वेयर द पीपल डिड नॉट रिक्वायर द ईपीबी प्रूफ फॉर क्लेमिंग द बेनिफिट so they were ready to become part to be thus that okay we will use this software so that we do it actually not the demo testing it was live uh, dog, actual shipments we sent for last 4 5 months and uh, where these all documents were generated and we have end to end certified that this is a, a process has stabilized so now when we this notification will give it the, now the legal validity so now after this and we launch it and uh, before that a uh, notification says that the post office authorities will not notif- identify the post offices where it has to be rolled out yes. so now we have identified those post offices to begin with uh, in addition to the 28 notified foreign post offices that we will circulate shortly and then we uh, formally launch it um, uh, most probably coming month or so so and before that we prepare everybody reach out to like this events other events uh, to reach out to the people in between and exporters mm-hmm. of different uh, export sectors so in between this these will be the activities uh, and to educate people about how to use as you are saying so all we will put on our website faqs the process of registration end to end process how to follow it and uh, how to get the documents and everything so that will be put on the website so uh, i think this is the first uh, interaction you have taken initiative and organized just after the uh, notification so it's uh, uh, laudable and uh, we are doing similarly yesterday we had a, uh, a, a webinar and a, a live hybrid manner in mumbai uh, with around 100 plus exporters attending so they were not only from jams and jewelry but different areas so uh, uh, so we focus today on that and uh, no issue other issues can be also be brought but you make the wood whoever uh, our customers are mm-hmm. think they're very okay. easy send a yeah, yeah. certificate one to us we will send you the rest yeah. yes yes sir you are very right 
and we have just taken this initiative too early i think but the idea is to educate our members and exporters on the benefits of the new notification and of course when you are ready with launching of this scheme and when you are ready with all your details and the website is ready we would be very happy to organize a similar program at a later date also for the benefit of our members and as requested also sir please i would request mr sakaria to share the contact details of your regional officers jinko ke hum apne different regions ke logon ke sath share kar sakte hain so that they can directly get in touch with them for any assistance in this regard it is of course a very welcome step and will go a long way in helping boost the exports of india and as our director had said in his remarks this is just the tip of iceberg the potential is huge in e-commerce nowadays all youngsters all youth they prefer to buy things sitting at home so the growth potential is going to be enormous so i think unless if any query of anybody else please otherwise we would like to thank our uh, honorable speakers any query please any member i have a look yeah um uh, director sir you would like to say a few words yeah uh, thank you mr dogal and uh, i would thank uh, pranay sharma sir for his very uh, elaborate uh, uh, understanding and uh, that he in fact he made us to understand the subject in a very elaborate way so thank you very much for the idea that you are proposing that you will put up faq in your website it's a very wonderful yes. step and it's going to benefit uh, our exporters Uh, to Mr. Dukal, I would say that um, since return policy is in vogue and is in nascent stages, and we need to work out holistically, not only with uh, just post and about uh, courier also. Whereas in German jewelry, uh, Pranay sir, uh, in German jewelry, uh, having return policy is very important for uh, increasing of export business, sir. Because in case uh, an importer uh, feels and uh, has some issues, he can return. and a written policy will actually facilitate more exports uh, presence of this very and i am very we are very happy sir that um, you have been very your department is taking very active steps very uh, it looks that you have signed a kind of uh, mutual recognition agreement with the us uh, postal services uh, i believe in 2008 or so and uh, and we look forward sir um, there are more uh, uh, focus areas like uh, uae then uh, hong kong and then uh, european market is an emerging market and uh, this wana region west africa uh, and uh, north west asia and north africa is another emerging region sir and uh, i am sure that uh, uh, the department of post will consider expanding your uh, mutual recognition agreement with your counterpart countries And yeah, come on uh, to my office, and uh, I'll invite you. I invite you right now. Uh, we we discuss and finalize wherever you want. You know. <laughs> no, that's sir. Uh, my understanding on the subject is that uh, there is no need for FTA between countries to sign this agreement. Yeah, no need. Uh, this is uh, can be done as a standalone. It is permitted in WTO rules and regulations. Yes. Sir, uh, my uh, if you permit me, I have a request and. Uh, in order to coordinate the uh, next steps uh, so if you can uh, provide a, a um, nodal uh, kind of email id where uh, exporters can reach out uh, apex level of course uh, at uh, the headquarters level and, we will uh, kindly look into that sir yeah uh, and otherwise uh, uh, um, um, only this much from my side thank you yes sir very useful information you have asked for yes the email ids will help the members and the participants and the other exporters to reach out to the post office for their queries after all this is for the benefit of all for the post for the exporters for the customs and for the country as a whole so definitely uh, it is a good step and will definitely help so thank you all i thank the participants for coming and thank you to shri pranay sharma ji and mr ram chikari and his team for taking time out on a saturday and uh, you know guiding us 
on this yes sir you like to say please dugal sahab ek appeal hai sabse ji ji uh now uh, this data entry and uh, has become uh, a big issue in uh, especially in uh, european union Mm -hmm. every item going whether it is courier or uh, post mm -hmm. has to have complete information of uh, item attribute contents declarations uh, yes. address everything so whenever the bulk data is given uh, which even at present being given uh, and also in future through the portal mm -hmm. i will appeal that please ensure the address data sender data contact details hs codes uh, value content uh, currency is correctly given otherwise a number of complaints we receive that items not being delivered are held up in customs especially us customs very particular if uh, the declarations are not proper and uh, sometimes fake declarations so and sometimes uh, uh, the complete address not given in case of address europe is very particular that uh, all item attributes uh, which we call in uh, in in the data exchange language i uh, so that is must so that will facilitate the processing so the accuracy of data and completeness please ensure that it is uh, properly uh, provided while you book your and upload the documents on the system so that is an appeal from all of you that is in everybody's interest that makes your uh, consignment processing and delivery faster that reduce our burden uh, in then taking up if it is held somewhere and uh, unnecessary delays so that was the last point i would like to say thank you for sharing this very useful information i think all participants will make a note of it and we will also uh, circulate it to the members and you could also sir in your faqs jo bana rahe hain usme bhi thoda isko mention zarur kar dijiye but this is very important yeah. if details are not mentioned the parcel can get stuck and delivery would get hampered so very right sir so thank you again sir for sparing time on a weekend on saturday at a short notice and giving this very useful information to all our participants thanks to our director mr arunandan also for sparing his time on a saturday and addressing to all thank you participants for coming at a short notice to attend this program and once again my apologies to for the slight delay in starting the program due to the hiccups about the links but all is well arranged well so thanks all and i hope you all will benefit from this new uh, postal e-commerce rules and this will help you all boost your exports thank you all